Hey guys, Lucas Kaler from Get Big in the 973 here, and we're doing Gas Your Pass energy drinks in the long form content now. I mean, this is probably episode 40 or whatever it may be, but today we're reviewing all of Rise Energy's Rise Fuels. We're gonna test them out, let you know the honest thoughts on a scale of one to 10, and if they're Gas or Pass, let's go. All right, just to start, these aren't your typical gas station energy drinks where there's a bunch of sugar, a bunch of calories, and a bunch of caffeine. These are 200 milligrams of caffeine, zero calories, and zero grams of sugar, which is why I really prefer these energy drinks as compared to Rockstar or any other brands out there that have that sugar really high, high calories, or high caffeine amount. So with that being said, we're going to get into it. There are a multitude of flavors here. We're going to start with their classic, which would be their Baja Blast and they call this a Baja cooler. Um, I always call it the Baja Blast because I'm a big Taco Bell kind of guy. But with this being said, it's supposed to be like a fresh lemon lime. I'm gonna crack into it. We'll get some ASMRs as we go through this. I'm gonna take my sip, cheers. Very strong lemon and lime flavor, but an emphasis on the lime. I really like this one. It's a classic for me and something that I could drink while I'm having lunch or something like that. I would definitely say it's more lime than it is lemon. I, I mean, I don't even know if you really get a lemon to it. Baja Cooler, I think it's an average flavor. Probably not one of my favorites, but it's still a solid flavor. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. It's still gas, right? So I've done these a multitude of times. I've had these a multitude of times. I may have rated them differently. This is my current feelings, how I feel about them. Six out of 10, Baja Cooler. This one's gas. For it to be pass it's got to be a five or below and sometimes the fives are still pass or still gas they're still pass or gas either way they can go either way at five all right next one we're going to get into is probably one of their favorite oh here it is no it's not we don't have tiger's blood here i don't even know if they carry it anymore i'm not a big tiger's blood kind of guy this was their favorite collab when they came out with it and it's their sunny d and their tangy original this is supposed to be like your sunny d right they even say 100% vitamin C in every serving. I think it's cool, very nostalgic. And this is one of their collaborations that they were super proud of. I'm gonna crack into it. I'm gonna take my sip. Boom, right on the mark. Sunny D to a T. That should be a pun. No, it shouldn't. Anyways, definitely a Sunny D. You taste that orange flavor. This would be something I would strictly have in the morning. I'm not a big Sunny D, sunny D kind of guy, but I will say it's solid. They nailed it right on the mark for what kind of flavor it is, but it wouldn't be something I would have regularly. With that being said, I still think it's a solid flavor, but it's not for me, which is why I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. It's a pass. It's still solid. If you like Sunny D, you'll like this, but I'm not a Sunny D kind of guy. I'm gonna pass on it. They did nail the collaboration, not for me. All right, next we're gonna go into probably one of my favorite drinks of all time that they came out with. I was a huge fan of this. This is their Kool-Aid and this is in their Tropical Punch, right? They even got the Kool-Aid guy right there, um, Kool-Aid man. I think this is great. I'm gonna crack into this one. This one was like an all-time favorite for me. And when it came out, I think I told my girlfriend that I rated it a nine out of 10. She got it for me. She would go out of her way to get it for me. So shout out, Mary, I appreciate that. But this was my favorite. So I'm gonna take my sip. Ooh. Bad crack. This one's red on the inside, which is interesting, but it's like the Kool-Aid kind of vibe, right? I'm gonna take my sip. Boom, Kool-Aid to a T, I feel like a little kid again. I love this. This is very nostalgic for me. I'm a big Kool-Aid kind of guy. I always was into those drinks. And now the fact that it has 200 milligrams of caffeine and I can drink it as an adult and not feel bad or look weird is great. I'm giving this a nine out of 10 still. This one's gas. I love that one. I literally could not get rid of that. That's great. Next, I mean, we're gonna move on to, what do we do? I think we're gonna do their ring pop. This was the next collaboration. We're kind of going in the collaboration steps. So I'm gonna try and keep it that way. But if I can't, I can't. All right, so now we're gonna do the ring pop. I wasn't a huge, huge fan when it came out. This is Berry Blast Ring Pop. I thought it was a super cool collaboration. I used to be into ring pops in the sense that I thought they were cool because you could wear them on your finger, but I never really thought that they were like the best kind of candy out there. We'll crack into it first. Let's just do that. Oh, that one was a little bit of an explosion, but I'm gonna take my sip. Berry. 100% a berry blast flavor. It tastes like a ring pop. It's berry, but I don't know if it's a berry I really like. It's good, but there's something about it that just kind of gives off that super sweet berry kind of vibe that I'm not really vibing with. I'm a big sweets guy. And with me saying that I'm not a huge, huge fan of this, it's kind of crazy. It has a blueberry, it has a strawberry, it has something else as well, but it's very strong in terms of sugary kind of drink. I like it. I think it's good. Not my favorite. I'm getting it a five out of 10. It's still gas though. I'll put it in the gas because it's still solid. 
They nailed the collaboration. Just not my thing totally, but I would drink it on occasion. I'll say that. So next we're going to move on to probably my next collaboration. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm trying to look at these from back here. A little bit hard. This one, Country Time Lemonade. I'm a big lemonade iced tea kind of guy. And I really resonated with this when they brought this out because I used to run a lemonade stand when I was a kid and it was huge for me, dude. It was huge. It was my passion. It was my life. So when they dropped the Country Time Lemonade, immediate nostalgic thoughts, ideas. It was just crazy. But this one's super cool. I like the design of it. I think it's like very rustic kind of country, like barrel kind of vibes. I think it's great. We're going to try it out. I'm going to take my sip. Classic. It's classic. It's a lemonade. It's classic. It tastes like a lemonade. Now there's two different types of lemonade. Homemade, like your mom made it, lemonade. And then there's the artificial kind of store-bought lemonade, right? I wouldn't say that this completely falls in between the two, but it kind of does. It's a little bit more artificial tasting, I will say, as compared to your like, I guess, mom made old time kind of like lemonade, but it's still a solid lemonade. Artificial a little bit, but that's probably because of the carbonation. So I'm not going to blame it on it completely. Solid lemonade flavor. And it's still one of my favorites. Nine out of 10. Gas. Next, we're going to be moving on. You know what? We're just going to get rid of all the collaborations first, and then we'll go to their classic flavors. So this one came next, I believe. Yes, this one came next. This is their Sour Punch Blue Raspberry collaboration. Now, when they came out with this, I was hyped. I'm not a big Sour Punch kind of guy. I never was. But Blue Raspberry was where it hit always for me. Always. So with that being said, I'm going to crack into it. This is their Blue Raspberry Sour Punch. Nice crack. A little bit of a blue tint, but not really. I'm going to take my sip. Cheers. Bingo. This one's good, man. Blue raspberry to a T. I always say to a T. I don't know why. Blue raspberry, 100%. Sour punch collaboration. Nailed it. Not too sugar. I mean, not too sour. It's a little bit more sweet than sour than I expected, right? But I'm not a big sour guy. So I really do appreciate that and like that. So with that being said, the sour punch blue raspberry is a solid flavor of mine and probably one of my favorites that they've done so far. I'm giving that one a 9 out of 10 as well. Gas. I liked it. I liked their collaboration. I don't know if I would pick the same brand, but the blue raspberry was on point and absolutely delicious. Next, we're going to be going with their sour punch one. Now, people can argue that the Sean O'Malley collaboration here and the Sour Punch were kind of the same time, but I think the Sour Punch Green Apple came first. This one is their Sour Green Apple, they call it, right? Sour Punch collab, this is what it looks like. Very green kind of can, kind of scary. Reminds me of a couple other brands and their sour drinks. We're going to crack into it. I'll tell you how I think. Good crack. All right, I'm going to take my sip. Cheers. Sour, sour, man. Sour green apple, 100%, dude. It is a green apple flavor. Emphasis on the sour part, right? It's even making my mouth water a little bit, dude. It's definitely a sour tasting energy drink, but it's a good sour, right? If you like sour, you're going to like this. I'm not a sour guy. I could not sip on this all day. I could probably sip on this maybe once a month. It's not really something I'd go for in the stores. I think they nailed the collaboration. They killed it. And that's the thing about these. If they nail the collaboration, great. That's awesome. And that's crazy that they do it. But you have to be a fan of the product before the collaboration, just to even like the product. So if you didn't like sour stuff before they did a sour collaboration, you're not going to like it after they do the collaboration. With that being said, sour punch, sour green apple. I'm not a fan. That's getting a three out of 10. I'm going to pass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not a sour guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Next, we have probably, this one's crazy because I was super excited for this, even though I'm not a cotton candy guy, but like the cotton candy, like flavors that I've had are solid, super sweet, taste delicious, and they're a vibe. I'm not a big cotton candy guy though. This is the Sean or the Sugar Sean O'Malley collaboration. And this is cotton candy. Looks like a cotton candy kind of can. I like it. Really cool. This one's five calories. Some of these cans have zero calories. This one has five. Um, interesting. I'll have to dive a little bit more into why it has five and not the zero. Um, but super interesting. I'm going to take my sip. Ooh, that was a very horrible crack. I'm going to take my sip. Cheers. Ooh, sweet, man. That's sweet. That is a cotton candy kind of sweet. Like you would only have this if you go to the carnival. Like I would not sip on this daily. I think I would get like in my head, like a cavity just from having this. It's very sweet, very cotton candy. And if you like cotton candy, you'll, you'll love this. They nailed it. They literally, they stuffed cotton candy, stuffed it into the can and labeled it. They did a great job with this one. It's good. It's solid. I like it. I probably wouldn't pick this as my daily energy drink flavor. But with that being said, I still think it's really good. I would give it a seven out of 10, seven out of 10 gas. I like it. I think it's good. But is it something that I would pick up on a consistent basis? 
probably not, but they did do a good job with it. I'm not going to lie, right? Now we're getting into some of their other cool stuff that they came out previously to these new Sour Punch uh, Sugar Sean collaborations that I was a huge fan of. So we're going to do something that they talked about a few times. This is their strawberry squeeze. Essentially what this was, was a country time lemonade and added strawberry to it. I know, I know. You're like, where's the collaboration? I don't know why they didn't collaborate on this one. I don't know if they have a strawberry like lemonade flavor, right? And on top of it, I don't really think it would have been the best collab. I like the design a little bit better on this. I think it's cool. I think it really tells you what's in the can and gives you an expectation of like, okay, this is like a lemonade with strawberry. The strawberry squeeze has a really cool like logo design on it. And I like it. We're going to try it out. I was a fan of this when they dropped it. I try and have most of these drinks when they drop them. So like if they drop it, I'm looking for it. I'm going to take my sip. Cheers. Yep. I'm a big strawberry guy. So immediately this is like, boom, it's awesome, right? Strawberry on mark, lemonade on mark. This is a little bit less of an artificial kind of lemonade. I'd say it's a little bit closer to your homemade lemonade, but still in between. But on top of that, that strawberry like flavor comes in, kind of hits you and you're like, oh wow, that's refreshing. That's a really cool kind of flavor. I really like this one. I've always been a fan of this, always. Ever since they dropped it, I said it was probably one of their best flavors. I really like their energy drinks in general. So it's just kind of deciding what collaborations you like, what collaborations you don't like. With that being said, 9.5 out of 10, gas. I like it. I like it, man. I thought it was really good. But with that being said, they did come out with some other strong flavors. This one is their peach cooler. Now I'm not a big peach guy. A lot of people like peaches. I think they're okay, but a lot of people really like this energy drink. And for a peach guy, you know, I'm sure you're a huge fan, right? But if you don't like peaches like me, it's like hit or miss. If you do a really good peach flavor, I'm here for it. Cause I'm not really a big peach guy, but if you get it right, it's pretty good. I don't know. Maybe I'm not a peach guy. All right. I'm going to take my sip. Cheers. Yep. Peach right there. As soon as you take that sip, you get that like peach. Now, is it a white peach? I don't know. I would, I would almost go to say it's like a white peach, but in the same breath, there's so many different types of peaches. I would say this is just your classic kind of peach. I like it. I mean, peach cooler kind of like implies that there might be other stuff in there or it might just be a peach flavor, right? That's just, I don't know. Right. But I think it's a good peach flavor. Do I think it's something I pick up every day? Maybe if it's the summer, I want to throw it in some ice. Maybe I'd do that. I'm going to give this one a six out of 10. I think it's good. It's gas still. This one is still, we'll do the thing, gas, right? I like it. I think it's good, but it probably wouldn't be something that I pick up on a consistent basis just because I'm not a big peach guy. Now, with that being said, these are probably like their two, like, I don't know. Everybody really talks about these. Now, this one perplexes me. Rainbow Sherbet. Now it looks super, super cool on the can design, right? You got, let's see, orange, raspberry, lemon, lime, rainbow sherbet. If you ever had a rainbow sherbet ice cream as a kid, that's what this is supposed to taste like. I was a big rainbow sherbet kind of guy. I liked sherbet. I still do. So we're going to try this out. Take our sip. Oh man, that's horrible. We missed the crack and it didn't open the, like the can properly, but I'm able to push through it. I'm going to take my sip. Dude, so what they did was they probably just melted sherbet and just put it in this can because it literally tastes like melted sherbet. I think it's great. Carbonation, 200 milligrams of caffeine. It's solid. It's delicious. Summer drink, 100%. Am I drinking it every day? No, but do I think it's solid? Yes. Rainbow sherbet, it's a vibe. I've always thought it was a vibe. We're giving this an 8.5 out of 10. Gas. I like it. I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's something I pick up every day just because it's sweet. Last one we have is Pink Splash. Now this one is pretty similar in terms of like this to, I think personally it's a combination between the strawberry squeeze and the rainbow sherbet because it's supposed to be like a strawberry like cream, I would say. I mean, it looks like a strawberry cream on this can. I'll just crack into it. I'll crack into it. Guys, you have to, I almost dropped that. Fuel your greatness. I'm going to take my sip. Cheers. Strawberry, a little bit of creaminess. Strawberry again, a little bit of creaminess again. Honestly, I like it. I think it's good. I've always been a fan of it. I'm a big strawberry guy, like I said before. So strawberries are really my thing. So if you give me a good strawberry kind of drink, and I like creaminess, right? If you have an orange dreamsicle, I like that kind of stuff. Anything where it's like a hint of fruit, but also that creaminess of like an ice cream almost, I like it, right? I think it's a solid drink. A lot of people debate between this and the rainbow sherbet, and they're like, oh, which one's better, right? They're two different flavors. This is very creamy and very strawberry. This is a multitude of different flavors, and it's not as creamy. It's kind of a different kind of flavor, but I do see why people say, I like it. Nine out of 10. 
gas. Also, the really funny thing is if you guys were sitting where I am, you can hear like the carbonation, like bubbles popping of all these drinks. It's actually pretty loud sitting back here. But with that being said, I like all of their drinks. I think Rise Fuel does a great job with flavorings, collaborations, and I like how they're 200 milligrams of caffeine, zero to five calories, depending on what kind of can you grab. Honestly, a solid drink to have throughout my day. And I like all of them, right? As much as I said pass on a few, I'd still have them. They're not horrible and they're not disgusting. I think they do a good job and I really like what they do at Rise Fuel with their flavorings and collaborations. But with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, tell me what your favorite flavor of all this is. Because I'm kind of curious because I think a lot of people, depending on what flavor drops, is their new favorite, right? So I bet you a bunch of people are going to say Sour Punch, but I also think that some are going to throw it back to the OGs like Baja Cooler or Sunny D or any of their older collaborations. But guys, let me know down in the comment what your favorite flavor is. Thanks for watching Gas Fast Energy Drinks now on YouTube exclusively in the long form content. Guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay tuned for more. Let's go.